Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, we are actually in the animal room. And in the animal room, we have a new enclosure. Not a new enclosure, there was stuff in it before, and it needed a makeover. So, that's what we're going to do. So up here, we have an empty terrarium. And I'm going to be putting the same thing that was in there already. And that thing was stick insects. Australian spinies. Um, I have got some over there. So, bear with, and I'll show you. Okay, so here we have the two larger Australian spinies. The male on the wall and then the female on the ground. Here we have four smaller. I think they're all male. And then very, very, very small baby ones. And there's six in there. So there's 12 all together. Nice round number. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be filling this enclosure. We're going to be putting all the stuff that they need in it. And then we're going to be adding the stick insects. And hopefully, they'll like it. So, let's get on with the build. Okay, and now after you saw me putting together with toilet roll as the bottom, because I don't need a lot of substrate, just dampening it down with a bit of water, spraying it with my spray bottle, then adding a various amount of different foliage, all the different leaves that are safe for Australian spinies to eat, and hopefully, now that there's um, toilet roll on the ground, you can actually see if they lay eggs, and if they lay eggs, I will let you know. So, before we put them in, let's do some handling. I will teach you how to handle, and I will teach you male, female, kind of, yeah. So, let's get to handling. So now that we've put together our enclosure, let's do a little bit of handling before we get on to putting them in and never seeing them again. So, first of all, they are an invert. The invertebrates mean that they're exoskeleton, so all of this, the actual parts that you see, is their actual skeleton on the outside. Um, meaning they are invertebrates. This one I now have on my hand currently is the female. You can tell whether it's a female with the, uh, the abdomen. If it's more pointed, it means it's a female. This is our largest, my largest female, and she is the one that lays most of the eggs. And some people can be quite squeamish over most insects. However, stick insects are literally nothing to be afraid of you can handle them fairly easy just put them flat on your hand and they'll wander around usually so let's put the female back holding them here doesn't actually hurt them it's actually an easy way to handle them same with the male however the male is a lot smaller is in darker in coloration and I can tell which ones have definitely come from him because some of the babies are very dark in colour. But yes, the male is a lot more energetic than the female, meaning he does most of the work. Um, however, these two are the breeding pair in there. And they are both stunning creatures. So, without further ado, let's put these guys into their enclosure. So as you can see, these are the smaller ones, these are the 
slightly smaller ones to the adults and they are a lot quicker and a lot smaller however they've got a lot of character to it they look really nice I don't understand why people still think things like this are scary or creepy it's actually a quite a, a nice creature to handle easy to handle ever so small and there is four at this size I'll show you one of the other males as you can see he's got the darker color just like the father so you can see oh, and I have another one on my arm there we go stick insects everywhere they are very fast and very hard to keep hold of so let's put these on Unfortunately, I will not be able to handle these ones as they are very, very small, meaning they are very, very delicate. But there is six of these ones, and again, I can tell which ones have come from the male, definitely, because of obviously the darker morph. But without further ado, let's find out the little babies. I'll, I'll just put them in ever so gently because it'll be quite hectic to put them in, and then I'll see if I can get some footage of them afterwards. So, here you go. Well, thank you for joining me on this creature feature. I hope you enjoy learning a little bit about Australian spiny stick insects. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I can do axolotls and calico goldfish. I can do bearded dragons, locusts and leopard geckos, angelfish and cactus plecos. So let me know if you want to see any other animals also. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And I want, in the comments, what name should we give our tribe of stick insects? So, that's your job. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time on our next creature feature. See you later. <laughs>